Hi everyone, today we are hiking to Morskioko, but first we have to take this bus to a checkpoint called Palinza Biochinska. We are here. See the frost. Morskioko is within the Tatra National Park, so we have to take an entry ticket here. You can also take this horse carriage by paying some extra money if you're not up to the two hour hike physically. We have paved roads till the end, so this hike is supposed to be an easy one. Pine trees everywhere. There are lots of families with small kids and babies, some old people and even a few pregnant women doing this hike, so it's really nice to witness the strong-willed nature of the people. This area is a resting place with wooden benches and portable toilets. If you are going for the easy hike to Morski Oko, don't take the right turn from the resting area because we did that and after climbing for 30 minutes, we had to turn back. If you want to cover the five lakes of Poland and finally to Morski Oko, then this is the right track for you. But this time it was not for us since we were not prepared and we had less time. It's really cold. Next time I come back, I will definitely hike this track. At this point, we turn back and we joined the easier track. While coming in the morning, a lady in the bus was saying that she met a bear once on this track. Scary. Yes. From here, we can take kind of a shortcut instead of the road. But it leads to the road in the end. We're taking this route and it will take 1 hour and 10 minutes to reach the lake. Oh, see you later. Bye-bye. I'm tired. Tatra mountain range forms a natural border between Slovakia and Poland, so Morski Oko is quite close to the border. We have made it to the checkpoint. I need to put some sugar into my body. <laughs> I'm going to have kielbasa and I think it's grilled pork chops for lunch. Yummy! We are here, finally. What makes this lake special is the crystal clear water and the hills surrounding it. It's quite huge actually, but I don't think you can perceive that in the video. A long time back I decided to collect stones from water bodies that I visit, so let me select a stone from here too, and I'm hoping it's not illegal, fingers crossed. <laughs> 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 
you can see the clarity of the water here. It's just like a mirror reflecting the hills from the background. And this proud dog patrolling its territory. <laughs> There were lots of fishes as well, but I could capture only this one. There were definitely lots of people here, but once you turn your attention towards the lake and the mountains, you can just get lost in its beauty. The nice thing that I've noticed here was that no one was occupying a certain place and keeping it to themselves but giving a chance to everyone to enjoy the beauty from different angles. So even though it looks crowded, everyone had access to all the spots and that was nice. These two ladies were enjoying the frozen Maggie here. I feel bad for them. I really wish we had time to explore, but this time we didn't have that luxury. And a tragedy happened. It's freezing and I got my shoes wet. With my socks and shoes wet, I was not feeling my feet at this point, but the beautiful scenery kept up my spirit. One awkward selfie for the memories. <laughs> Do you know the song Down by Bling 182? Yeah, that song was playing in my head. <laughs> Spotting a rare bird. I'm just kidding, it's not a rare bird. Bye bye, Moski Oko. I had a really good experience on this track and I can't imagine how amazing it will be on the other one which takes you to the five lakes of Poland. It's supposed to be a lot harder but according to my research the views are amazing there. So I will definitely come back for that. With better prep physically and of course more time on my hand. I was worried if a bear shows up, but if you're seeing this video, then I'm safe and sound. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye-bye.